আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়েলকাম টু আর এন এন নিউজ আই এম ইয়াসমিন সুলতানা হেডলাইন্স অফ দ্য নিউজ অস্ট্রেলিয়া স্লাভ স্ন্যাকশনস অন মিয়ানমার আর্মি টাব্রাশ ইউ এস অ্যাসিস্ট্যান্ট সেক্রেটারি ভিজিট রোহিঙ্গা ক্যাম্প অ্যাট জেরো লাইন অ্যান্ড কুতু পালং অক্টোবর টোয়েন্টি ফোর টু থাউজেন্ড এইটিন Australia on Tuesday slapped travel and financial sanctions on five top Myanmar military officials accused of overseeing brutal violence against Rohingya Muslims by units under their command flying similar moves by the European Union and United States. More than 7 lakh Rohingya Muslims led Buddhist majority Myanmar to neighboring Bangladesh here according to UN agencies flying a counter-insurgency operation launched by Myanmar's military after attacks on security posts by Rohingya militants in August last year. A recent UN report accused Myanmar's military of gang grabs and masculines with genocidal intent and called for its commander-in-chief and five generals to be prosecuted under international law. Myanmar has denied most of the allegations in the report blaming Rohingya terrorists for most accounts of atrocities. However, Australia, which has previously provided training for Myanmar's army and refrained from imposing sanctions on Tuesday, responded to the UN report by targeting four of the main named and on other senior commander. I have now imposed targeted financial sanction and travel bans against five Myanmar military officers responsible for human rights violations committed by units under their command, Australian Foreign Minister Marisi Paine said in a statement. A separate document named the officer Aung Shoja Aung Aung Mang Mang Shia Tang O and King Mang Shia, it said financial dealings with them can now attract penalties of 1.7 million, 1.2 million for companies and 10 years jail for individuals. Myanmar government as spokesman Jota did not pick up a call check in comment on Tuesday. The United States imposed similar restrictions Top generals in August, like the United States, Australia, omitted Myanmar's military chief Min Aung Wain from the sanctions. The principal deputy assistant secretary Alice Wells of the United States of America has visited the Rohingya at no man's land and Kutupalong of Ukiya in Cox Bazar on October 23, 2018. Mrs. Alice spoke with the Rohingya representative Dil Muhammad at No Man's Land where she wanted to know the current situation and living condition in the camp. She also wanted to know about their will of returning to their homes in Myanmar. The Rohingya representative said we will return to our homes willingly if our citizenship rights, including our full human rights, are granted by Myanmar government before our repatriation. Our return must be in dignified and safety curcumestance in Myanmar with full human rights that the other ethnic groups like Burmese, Shane, Raikan and others are enjoying in Myanmar. We don't want to be refugees once again. We want double salvation in Myanmar so that we can enjoy. Our rights are living coexistences with the other ethnic minorities. We are peace-loving people of Myanmar. I, on behalf of my community people, would like to make an earnest request to U.S. Secretary to convince Myanmar government to grant our citizenship rights in order that we can return to our beloved land Myanmar. The deputy secretary said that my Myanmar 
government expects that Rohingya can return to Myanmar in safety and with dignity. She also urges the international community to continue pressure on Myanmar to recognize the Rohingyas as one of the main minority and grant their citizens she prays. She said it during past briefing to journalists as allies visited the Kutupalang refugee camps of Ukiya and talked to some refugee delegates as well where she expressed her concern over the dreary condition of refugees in the camp. She thanked the government of Bangladesh for its overall cooperation to refugees including shelter and engagement with the Myanmar government regarding recognition of Rohingya as citizens of Myanmar. After hours long visit in both camps, she left for Coxbury Sorset to our correspondent. Thank Thank you for listening to RNN News. Allah Hafiz.